other right now, but that's going to change as soon as the bell rings. And if, if I had to guess, I, I always go with the Prince Albert guy over in LaRange just because of training. Generally speaking, anytime you're in a city, there they are. Good there they friends. are, showing their friendship, but um, now it's all business. Uh, good. There's a nice, fr a nice uh, roundhouse kick. He's, I, I'm never a fan of the left hook to, to start. I like the jab right off the bat. But there yeah. it is, double jab. But Caleb's got him. He's, Caleb well, puts him against the cage here. Nice, uh, nice reversal. That was a very nice Caleb reversal. Caleb did by a Christian. lot of karate as, as a kid, as sure. well as boxing. So definitely, uh, he he has brings the mixed martial arts aspect. Right, right, exactly that. Um, and in fact, I'm surprised that he tried to grapple first because of his, his striking background. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, a lot of times, you get in that fight and you realize you you, you might think you got the advantage over another guy in one aspect. Yeah. And, and then, you know, I, I remember I had, I had an opportunity to speak with Evander Holyfield, and he said that he was always faster than Mike Tyson. When he actually fought Mike Tyson, he realized Mike Tyson was the faster fighter. Yeah, yeah. And so sometimes you think you know your opponent quite well. Right. And, uh, and they can surprise you. Well, so here's Mike Tyson. Everybody thought that he, he, he was just a power fighter. He was one of the fastest heavyweights in the history of the game. Yeah. So, and again, I think that's what we saw here. Is, is yeah, a little bit. Maybe they know each other. They know sure. what their strengths are. So maybe trying to switch it up and throw kind of a change up, uh, you know, to catch the other guy off, off guard here. So. And, 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 again, it might, it might be – and, and this is, again, going back to the five losses, is it something more to do with uh, he might just be tired of taking shots? Yeah, maybe he's reinventing his game plan, right. and, uh, and he'd like to go with something else. Right now it's just, again, that stand-up uh, stand grappling. Not a lot of damage being done. They're just jockeying for position. Yeah. Uh, no one really has the advantage here, Tyler. It's... Uh, uh, yeah. Thus far, nothing significant has been landed yet, but uh, Christian nice Olsen, needs, yeah. he, he actually is the featherweight champion in, in another division, XCW in, in Saskatoon, sure. so, yeah. so he's riding high on that. Huge fan as well uh, of kickboxers. and uh, so Now, now uh, Elvis is coming in and moved him up. There wasn't enough action. He wants to see something happening yeah. again. And rightfully I, so. I, now, it, what, what do you think, Tyler, when I see this? Sometimes enough with the respect and love already. Yeah. I now mean, you're in the ring. I was expecting, especially from these two northern boys here, yep. a little more There's pain. a nice. And uh, it there it land, is. But it was a nice. It looks good. The judges are going to have, you know, in a, in a fight where nothing lands, the guy who's more active, who throws more. Yeah, Christian again. He's controlling right. the ring. He, there he goes again for another kick. Uh, he, obviously being There's the aggressor. There's a, nice, a nice kick. Inside leg kick by Caleb Bernamine. I have no problem with guys respecting each other. I really love that aspect of mixed martial arts. But once the, you know, it's enough already. Once the fight starts, let's go. Yeah, yeah. People paid some good money here, and uh, yeah, the nice know. knee. I would, I would have to. And again, I'm not judging this thing, but I, I choosing one or the other. Caleb's probably had the more telling knees. Yeah, so far through the first round. Uh, Christian, though, he has uh, been active, trying to land one of those big yep. kicks. So look for that to continue. He does admire a lot of kickboxers. And uh, and, and he did tell me yesterday in the weigh-ins that, that leg kicks is where he was uh, going to try to work Caleb down and uh, wear down his lead leg. Sure. Now, to me, I didn't see a lot of urgency out of either of these guys uh, in this. I mean, you've got a guy who wants to revitalize his young career and got a guy riding a high, but I didn't see anything that says I'm from the – champion from the other division i'm dominating this man i didn't see that and from the other guy i didn't see any urgency so yeah i didn't see it yet uh maybe you know the quick chat with the boys in the corner here sure and, and we could see a def different second round that was definitely a little slow um uh, i think you know the nerves riding high and uh you know it's they're, a, they're, they're feeling each other out so. sure and again impossible to judge that first one it's just gonna be what you liked i saw a couple of knees a couple of low kicks from caleb I saw a couple knees from Christian and some control. So uh, nothing hurt either one of these fighters. Let's see what round two brings us. I'm going to guess that Christian's going to go for some big leg kicks again and uh, maybe try to land one up high as well. Yeah, I think he's got to, you know, he's a lighter guy, slightly lighter, uh, slightly lighter. He's going to let his hands go and let his feet go a bit. they, they got to get some action going. There's Here we go. a little something, something. Ooh. Oh, there's a big Caleb counter. Caleb catches a good right. Caleb, Caleb got that one in there. It was, a, it was a counter right over the top. Nothing hurt, but it did score. But he did land one, yeah. And again, 
Chris, these guys are friends. He nodded. You got me. And, yeah. And good for you, but uh, we want to see a fight. Yeah, we want to see, uh, you know, shake hands afterwards, but, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe counter back with a punch instead of a smile and nod. You, you bet. You bet. But again, I, I, if you're going to react, I, pre I, I prefer that more than the nod you didn't get me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. But that, you know, the nod and the shake shows, yeah, you got me, but it didn't hurt. Yeah, absolutely. If he still can acknowledge it, yeah. then it wasn't too significant. That's right. Right now, uh, at this point, we're starting to see a little more action. Another another uh, counter, right? And, and that could find a home here in the second round. And I, from our angle, there was... A, that, that counter right could, could play a, a good thing. Now, again, why did he go for a grapple when he's landing with the counter right? Yeah, yeah. And, in fact, with, with what he did there, he's, he's going to burn a lot of energy. Yeah. Caleb already showing signs of being a little bit tired. I guess. I, I would agree with that. He's, he's the heavier man slightly. And, uh, but he's trying, and nothing really happened there. And again, they break, break friendly, and it's good yeah. sportsmanship. There is a little random from that right, a little swelling yeah. on the left, but nothing's going to stop this fight or even impact it at all. Christian's still doing an excellent job of, of controlling the, the middle of the cage, even when Caleb sure. had him on his back. Uh, he flipped it around, and again, as you can he's see, some, he's, he's controlling. He's got some head movement, but he's got, <laughs> there's no lightning on these jabs. There's nothing going on there. No. Um, Caleb saying he got tapped in the lower regions. I didn't see anything. I didn't at see all. it. I, I thought it hit him above the shorts. Actually, I did see the punch, but no, it, it was above it the waistline. It certainly didn't so. hit him at all. Sometimes uh, you know, though, it rearranges and something gets in the wrong place. And this is exactly it, right. It's uh, just as uncomfortable. You, you as got anything a hard. Else. You got a hard cup there. If you hit the side of the cup, that can. But that was not a low blow, and, and Elvis Lyon mm. agrees. He hasn't said anything. No low blow. He says. Yeah. And, and again, Caleb it, maybe just buying I, a little extra you know time. What? He's looking pretty gassed. At this, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't allow this. I would not allow this. It was no low blow. Uh, let's get this fight going. Let's get this fight going. See, Caleb's <laughs> taking a bit of grief from the fans here. They, they didn't see the low no, blow either. And, and, and they uh, did. They didn't see it. And, and you know what? This is the weirdest thing. He thinks I know what happened. No, you don't. You honestly don't. I, I've yeah. seen. I've been doing this a long time, and I've been in them. You don't see. You think something happened that didn't actually happen. That was definitely a, yeah, a hip a shot. Yeah, a case of that, yeah. Now the fight's back on here. Uh, the supper uh, is ending at 8. <laughs> <laughs> the supper is ending at eight, so still a chance to get on some grub in there. Get in there. And We're back in action, though, and much of the same. Christian, he's got the go center of the right. ring. That thing's found a home three times now in this round. Uh, yeah, and, and you again, can see he's favoring it yeah, now. Yeah, he, yeah. He's realized there's an open path there. There it is, and it's wild swinging. It, this is what you'd expect the amateurs. Uh, there's nothing. Um, there's nothing too snappy at the end of that. These guys are young fighters. Yeah, they're still learning. Absolutely. Is that overhand again, right again? Another re overhand right. Uh, not as hard as the other ones, well, but still, they're going to add up. And, and if they bring this one right to the buzzer, well, th those are definitely going to add that's up. That's a nice little uh, exchange. I remember watching Willie DeWitt lose, and it was that same thing. You, you drop that left. Look at his left drop. He, he drops that left, and that makes a home yeah. for that overhand right. And a good fighter is going to find that every time. Yeah, for sure. And that's really what's happened. I think the tail of that round was a, uh, a phantom low blow. Yeah, it was. And um, then overhand rights. And I, I, I think uh, not for nothing, If uh, I think maybe Caleb put one over on Elvis, <laughs> the referee, because yeah. I didn't see anything. Yeah, I didn't either. A bit, like you said, a bit of a phantom call there. But, uh, yeah, could have got inside his head more than anything. But, sure. uh, but you know, when your guy says he's hurt, uh, now that's, again, uh, sometimes you can put one over on the ref. If the ref doesn't call it, that's it. You've got to keep fighting. Yeah, it's the ref discretion. I think Elvis did a pretty good job there. Uh, you know, he didn't call it a low blow, but but he did say, you know, okay, take your breather and, and let's get back at right. it. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen.
And now, as soon as we're done here, we're heading over to KG's, Fitzgerald's Pub. We're going to have a little after party. Yeah, the KG, they're a huge sponsor that made this night possible, and that is where the after party. And then tomorrow night, you're doing a show and there as well. that's the exciting so, thing is so you're going to be like, there all weekend. I'm the Joe Rogan of Canada. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I wear both hats. I, I do comedy. And for those listening in, Desreed.com. And in Saskatoon, I run a comedy club called Desreed's Comedy Club. You're welcome anytime. Look at these guys. Again, Good sports. Some sportsmanship. Good sportsmanship. But in the ring, uh, there. Oh, wow. Big, and, big left kick. And Tyler, you predicted that, but answered right away. Neither of them landed. Yeah. One on the sh- shoulder, one on the hand. So right now, uh, I, I give the slight edge to Caleb. But again, I'm not the judge. We'll see what happens. Yeah, when it comes down to numbers, Caleb might have the advantage, but I, I'm still looking for Christian to uh, to do some punishing here now that it's the third round. Uh, he, he, he may understand that, that if it goes to the numbers, he could be on the losing end of this one. He, he's, You know, he's had half as many fights. Forget that he's won more fights. Uh, you know, percentage-wise, he's only won three. Yeah. And maybe those five losses that I talked about earlier have taught Caleb uh, yeah, they, how, to, how to pull a fight out. That's the thing about amateur as well is it's it's not always necessarily the record, but but he's got eight fights as, That's opposed, right. as opposed to Christian's four. So, Absolutely. So he's been in this situation more than, more than Christian. So. In the amateur ranks, which I fought in boxing, your first five fights are considered novice. So it doesn't matter if you're five and zero oh or zero oh and zero. Oh, you're a novice. Yeah. And really, when you if you if you take that and and, and apply it here, Caleb though he's got a winning record is a novice. And, and, yeah, uh, and yeah. we have again, a novice versus an intermediate. And uh, I do see Caleb breathing a little heavy. And there's there's a little shot. I don't know if he's going to say that was a low blow. That was on his chin. <laughs> <laughs> Christian again looking for the kicks. Well, Christian's definitely winning this round. He's come out. He's, he's landing light shots. But uh, let's face it. These are light guys. They're, they're feather fisted. Yeah. There's, oh, wow. Caleb is exhausted. Yeah. He has nothing in the tank, but he has enough to move those hands in the way of... of Still doing a great job of getting out of the way as well. That's right. And 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 surprisingly, these are not light, lightning fast guys for little guys. No. Because uh, you look at Caleb, he's keeping his eyes wide open. He sees where the punches are coming from. Yeah. Christian is not throwing a lot of punches from different angles. They're all... They're all coming from the exact same spot. Yeah, he's kind of working the same. He's, he's got to go up and down, like Mickey Ward style. <laughs> Open him up a little Open bit. Open him up. You yeah. know, he's got to go in there. There's yeah. a front kick. He's, he's, a, he's really showing. He's got a lot more expertise in the ring, but he's got to mix that up. He's got to throw some to the body. Yeah, he's got to put it, uh, you know. Left to the head, right to the body. I mean, yeah, this is yeah really basic open it up stuff. here. And you know what? This is one of the things that uh, MMA is really uh, dominating the world right now as far as the new martial art. Boxing is still great, but these guys could really benefit by watching some boxing if they decide to be stand-up fighters because it, this was really a boxing match. It was. It was. We didn't see much action and not on a the good ground one. at all. <laughs> no, not a good one because, uh, yeah, as you can see, no blood, no, no, no bruises There's or nothing anything landed, like that, so. Nothing landed in that fight whatsoever you got to give the third round easily, easily uh, to Christian. I'd say the second by virtue of those overhand rights to Caleb. Yeah. Uh, and the first, it's up in the air. This could go, it's a... It could go either way. Either way, there, there but... There wasn't anything uh, significant enough, you know, to weigh it all But this was exactly side. what you expect a lot of times from amateurs. Yeah. They didn't... Uh, they they uh, and, and friends. It yeah, didn't look like they killed friend, them, wanted to kill friends. each other. Yeah. And I think that, that may change throughout the night. There's a few guys here Absolutely. looking for some blood, and uh, not every matchup is going to be Absolutely. Fr- friends from the same neck of the woods. Some of these guys want to win. Yeah, that's why we're here. Yeah. So I'm going to go wear my different hat, and I'll see you in a bit. You do that. All right. Dez working a bit of double duty this evening. He's got to go in the ring as he is the ring announcer as well. <laughs> ladies and ladies. Again, Christian Olsen, his teammates are fighting this, this evening, ladies three of them in Saskatoon, so he'd like a shout out to them and best of luck. We hope you he can bring back a back. win as well. Caleb Erlum, Irvine, shout out to Kaylee Fallon also and his fiance, Pete Primo. He wants to say, I love you and thank you for all the support. And uh, he couldn't do this without her. There you are. 
And don't forget to drink your Molson Canadian products up there and give a round of applause for those girls working the ring between rounds. But how about a round of applause for these two fighters demonstrating some stand-up skills. We're just waiting our decision. We have Christian Olsen and Caleb Irvine. Great fight, boys.